All right, guys. Well, welcome back to my channel, Gusty's Plants. Today, the neighbors decided to throw a party. They're singing, they're dancing, they're just eating, they're just you know drinking, having fun. And I'm here in my room, um, about to drink some tea. So, anyways, that's how it's going. <laughs> so, I'm gonna introduce uh, Atlas Tea Club here to my YouTube channel. I've uh, tried them before, and I've already featured them on my Instagram. So, it's a monthly subscription box where every month they send you uh, either one or two teas. You have the option of buying um, one tea or two teas, and um, it's from a, a region, from a country all across the world. So, you guys can see it's Atlas Tea Club. Um, you get to try tea from all over the world. I in the previous months um, I they featured um, Colombia, which I did not know that Colombia, uh, you know, created tea and they did so, which was 50-50. I like the green tea, not the black tea. Um, I've also had Nepal. I believe I've had Burma, and I think I've had India in the past. Um, but I'm gonna keep my subscription with Atlas Tea Club and uh, feature them here on my YouTube channel along with Y2T, which I have a playlist that I'm gonna include here if you guys wanna take a look at that. It's also a monthly subscription box. Um, you know, rambling though, let's check what we got here for the month of September from Atlas Tea Club. Like I said, it's a monthly tea club box. And what I like about this that sets them apart is that you get to try tea, not just from like Asia, you get to try tea from all over. Turkey is big on tea, um, Mexico also with a lot of the herbals and chamomile and hibiscus and you know you get to try tea that you did not know. Countries um, love tea. Alright guys, so let's see what country did we get here. Oh nice, we got Thailand! Oh wow, okay. Two teas from Thailand. I never tried tea from Thailand. This is amazing. Kapunka. Um, so yeah, this is amazing. It's always a whole. It's always a uh, whole leaf tea, loose leaf. And um, I just, you guys know, I love drinking my tea with a uh, gong fu style. And they also send you um, another card here that tells you the history of tea in Thailand if you're interested. It says that the history of Thai tea dates back to centuries with the thousand year tea tree. These towering trees in the dense forest of the northern Thailand may have been the beginning of tea in Thai culture. Alright, so that's really fun. Um, when I was reading this, I could not, I kid you not, I thought of a Thai tea iced tea like a boba tea with um you know the orange drink with the bobas at the bottom i have comment down below if you've had that tea before i'm pretty sure everyone has all right so let's start here with this here's this is the ancient green tea ancient green tea so this one here is a perfect for summertime this green tea is breezy and light from its refreshing cucumber aroma to its alluring aloe green infusion initial flavors of wheatgrass and aloe give way to a fruity top notes of muscat grape and pear the blend of vegetal aromas and fibrous fruit skins harmonizes the pro to produce a lovely medium body of tea with a low astringency and smooth mouthfeel enjoy over ice with a sprig of fresh mint Yes, so this is a tea that I, as I was reading the description, I imagined, I envisioned myself doing it as a cold brew or maybe as an iced tea. I don't like doing iced teas because I just don't like brewing it hot and just pouring ice over it. So I'm going to definitely try this as a cold brew and uh, let you guys know in the, um, in the later video how it went. So uh, that's a good one. I'm going to open it up later, but that's one. And the other tea here is the um, Ancient Tree Black. So it's a black tea. Just like we've gotten in previous months, we always get either a white tea and a black tea or a green tea and a black tea. So this time, like last month, Colombia, we got a green and a black. This one, on the other hand, compared to the green tea, says that it's a sun-dried with a slow and delicate withering process. This black tea from Thailand's chain rain region is cultivated from the leaves of the century-old camellia trees. Earthy notes of cocoa nibs and oats provide a grounding foundation for this medium-bodied burrito that swirls with an enticing amber red liqueur, a slightly astringency along with the tart sweetness of a cranberry that makes for a smooth velvet mouthfeel. I mean, this sounds exquisite, delicious, unpredictably great. And uh, the tasty notes that they include here, it's cocoa nibs, the dried cranberry, and oatmeal. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to have a little bit of like a, a bitterness or like a tartness. 
um, I'm not sure if it has hibiscus to me it just I think it's just a plain black tea um, pure so I don't know where the tartness will come from maybe I'm not sure this is very intriguing guys so I'm gonna go ahead and try these teas and include that section of me trying the teas in this video and I'll come back and um, tell you guys my final thoughts after trying these teas follow me on Instagram because I will also be uploading uh, my thoughts and my two cents on Instagram like I always do the link should always be here of um, the pan handle should always be on either corner of the videos um, but anyways so anyways how much a lot of blubbering i'll try this tease and i'll come back and let you guys know how it went yeah so i'll see you guys in a bit all right so we're gonna be trying the black tea from thailand this is the leaves it looks very very nice reading through the history of thailand it's that they started growing tea culture back in the 1960s where they started to receive cuttings from taiwan china and so they um, started their um, their teas with um, a higher altitude tea. So they're known for having really good oolongs or like smoky oolongs. Um, but um, it's funny that they say that oolongs is kind of what um, Thailand is striving with. Yet alone, they sent us a green tea and a black tea, which I'm like, you should have sent us oolong. But um, anyway, so this is the tea. I have the water ready. I have my setup nice and done. So let's get to tasting the ancient uh, tree black from Thailand. This is the first infusion. And I'm only going to um, just do the first sipping. I'm not really gonna drink this. It smells super good. It smells like a golden tips oolong or a golden tips black tea. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the first brewing. I am super excited because it smells really, really good. So we're gonna see. Um, I'm only gonna do like about five seconds, maybe less. Let's see. Well, look at that nice rich color. That's a really nice rich color that I like. Wow, and it smells so yummy. When I say yummy, it smells like um, caggy yams, like um, sweet potato. That's what I mean. You know. Wow, beautiful color. Okay, now we're going to give it a go. It smells really good, and it looks really good, and I am excited. Super, super excited. All right, guys, let's try it. Wow, okay. It's definitely um, smoky. It's smoky. Wow, but I like it. Um, it has like a, a maltiness to it. It's it's a black maltiness, but it also has like a sweetness contrasting the maltiness and the and the strength of it because it's a very strong black tea. Um, I taste like a smoked honey, and I don't want to say smoke like incense like you know. It's uh it just has like a very strong multi flavor. It's really good. We're gonna keep sipping, but so far, so good. All right, so let's do the second infusion. We're gonna see. I am really impressed with the tea because it has such a good um, flavor. It's very, very complex. Um, I also detected a little bit of like sweetness from like a fruit, maybe some kind of dried fruits, maybe dried mangoes or like dried, um, something dry. Anyways, let's go ahead and pour the tea now. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed with this tea from Thailand. It's definitely really flavorful. All right, so this is the second infusion. We're gonna give it a go. It has a darker color, more like an orangey color for sure. More orange. Oh, it smells incredible. Mm -hmm. So less smoky now. I do detect more of like a, a the fruitiness, but it's not like a fruity. Don't think of like a citrusy fruit. It's more of like a candied dried fruit. Wow, I really like it. It's really, really tasty. 
It's very, very sweet. Honey, sweetness, sweet potato with like maybe dried mangoes or dried papaya. It's so tasty. Mmm, it's really good. I like it. Um, I'm going to do a third steep and I'll probably leave it at that time because I have to go to work. But um, yeah. All right, so this will be my final review here. I have the Ancient Tree Cold Brew Green Tea and then the Ancient Tree Black Tea. So let me pour out this black tea. This is already like the seventh infusion. So I definitely have my official thoughts. And then let me pour over the cold brew that I made as they recommend to drink this as a as an iced tea. Love that. Uh, I'm also going to share with you guys the leaves. The leaves on these teas are definitely amazing. They're not chopped up or anything. They're actually um, pretty nice leaves. So here's the, the black one. You can see the leaves. Let me pull one out. It's kind of hot, so just bear with me. But look at that. Look at this leaf. Beautiful. You got the stem, and then you got the curly leaf. And then for the green tea, you got the same thing. It's a little bit choppy, but like not 100%. There you go. You see that? You can actually see the little fenestrations, or not the fenestrations, but like the little segments. There is a little bit of damage on this leaf. So there you go, but that's okay. Um, I just have to say they're amazing. You can differentiate the roasted green tea and then the fresher green tea. Um, Sorry, the, the roasted black tea and then the green tea right here, which I think they're very good. So final thoughts on the black tea. I know I've been talking a lot, but um, final thoughts on the black tea. That fruitiness that I was referring to the mango, I think it's probably the cranberry. It has that nice, sweet yamminess. Um, I don't get the oats, but I definitely do get like the sugary, the sweet honey. And then the um, the fruitiness, I guess, is from the dried cranberries, which is a really good. This is definitely a win. I love this one. Now for the cold brew, the green ancient tree green. Mmm, it's so refreshing. I do get a cucumber fresh, um, a little bit zesty. I don't get the pear, the barlet pear, which I kind of wanted to try. To taste and I didn't um, maybe as a hot tea you might get that note but as a cold brew I didn't overall I am very pleased with this month um, from Atlas Tea Club if you guys have not subscribed to them I definitely do recommend it um, and I feel like they're just such a good company because you get to try teas from all over the world not just China or like Taiwan you get to try tea from countries that you did not know made tea like for example i keep saying this but colombia but and, um anyways i am super happy and i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below if you've subscribed to atos tea club or any other tea subscriptions that are out there that you guys recommend thank you so much for watching